Just sometimes you come across a rogue that's a little bit different to the rest. And this is one of them. This is available in assorted languages and they've all got their own dedicated sites. Now this tells you that it's untrusted. Now if I just close this window and go back to Firefox, and as you can see, it will, it's a free analysis, conducted an analysis of your PC completely free and detect all security risks and threats that have download. Microsoft Gold Certified Partner, I don't think so somehow. Now I came across this uh, a few days ago and I uploaded it to Virus Total. I've uploaded it again and scanned it. And again, out of 40 engines, the only one that finds it is Kaspersky. No one else finds this as a threat. Now it looks the same as most rogues in as much as it will clean up your computer but you read what it says conducted an analysis you don't have conducted an analysis you can conduct an analysis you can also purchase this garbage if you look at the frequently asked questions have trouble activating your license or you cannot update contact will take you through to adslnet.es which is a Spanish site and there is no contact details. You can however purchase this program and it's cheap. 1.5 euros for one month, 6 months is 5 euros, 12 month license is 9 euros. Now this comes out, one month is around about 2 dollars, 6 months is around about 6 dollars and 12 months is around $11 so not expensive but it's not good either so what I'm going to do is minimize this window I've got the program here I've updated it I'm going to scan the system and do a full scan and we'll just see what it comes back with now the scan only takes a minute well about two minutes it's not a very long scan but as you can see the first entry is Cooley Nudie now Cooley Nudie is a website which has a browser hijack and it will redirect your searches. Now this program wants to remove this entry from the registry. Now if we look at the registry it's here coolynudie.net and it's set to 4. It is set to block. So if I visit the site I will be redirected to the local host which is 127.0.0.1 very simple, very easy. We've got a fake AV. Walladuck, Swizzer, Allurion. And so it goes on. It doesn't get any better. And it really is a load of rubbish. You know, you get the elapsed time detected threats on the item scan per second. It is, as with all other rogues, a pretty quick scan. Now most rogue applications will download a Trojan backdoor box or something else with it. It will also give you endless pop-ups, hijack your browser and so on. This one doesn't give you that. It also doesn't install in program files. Now then, if we look at program files, we come down, spy check. Well it's not here. It just doesn't exist in program files. Where it does exist is in My Documents. Now you don't install programs in My Documents, it's simple. Now as you can see, Coolinudi, this wants to take out the registry key for coolinudi.net and you're then at risk of being your browser being hijacked. Uh, fake antivirus Microsoft Shared Speech, uh, I don't think so, Wallaback, Microsoft Net Framework, it really doesn't like Microsoft Net Framework and a lot of programs depend upon the Net Framework to operate correctly. We have Wallaback here, Local Device Manager and so it goes on, Allurion, 
Removable Storage Manager, Microsoft Update, a Windows Update Manager. That is a threat. You really want to take this out? You've got Zlog, which is also part of the Microsoft Framework. Microsoft Net Framework, I should say. So, I wouldn't bother with this. I'll close it. What I am going to do, I have Super Anti Spyware and Malware Bytes. So, I'll click on, I've already updated these. I'm prepared. So, I'll click Next and just do a quick scan. And I'll do the same with Malware Bytes and we'll see what comes back. You know, this program proposes to remove .exe files from common files, registry keys. I will also remove from System32 folder .exe files and .dll's, which you need them for the healthy running of your computer. And if you buy this, even for one month, you could end up with a very expensive paperweight. Now on installation it did bypass Threatfire, Microsoft Security Essentials on this machine. On other machines it also bypassed Avira, Avast and nothing else actually found it on installation. It was not a threat. It's what it proposes to remove that is the real threat. It's very cunning and hopefully a lot of you will not fall for this. And don't confuse it with spychecker.com, which is a valid site. This is spycheck. It's two different things. And just to clarify that. So the scans are completed. Super Anti Spyware has found nothing. So we can close that. Malware Bytes, however, has found 24 infected objects. And if we have a look, as you can see, spycheck anti-spyware, registry keys, files, folders and memory process. So remove selected, reboot, the machine's clean and that's it. And it's simple, straightforward and easy. If you want more information and you want the download link then check out my blog which is Free PC Security and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk